Hey everyone, I am Jeremy and this is Disciple Makers. This is a place where we are courageously striving to multiply followers of Jesus Christ. About two Christmases ago, my daughter Ellie got me this amazing mug. I have used this mug almost every day for the last two years. I wash it, fill it with coffee, and for some reason, coffee simply tastes better out of this mug. I love this mug. However, uh, three days ago, I was pulling it out of the dishwasher and it slipped out of my hand and it fell on something and all of a sudden that happened. My heart dropped to the ground and I was instantly sad. It's like this perfect, incredible mug that I love, that I use almost daily, now all of a sudden has this chip out of it, this crack in it. And as I was thinking about that, so often I think of my life and I wonder how I, an imperfect human being, can ever relate to, connect with, and have a relationship with a perfect God. Imperfect Jeremy, perfect God. And sometimes, I'm sure a lot of us, we just dance this dance and trying to figure out what we do, how we act, how, what this looks like. And for me, I have these tendencies towards being a perfectionist. And so for me, what I so often try to do is as I approach the perfect God, I try to pretend that I am perfect Jeremy. If I just have it all together, if I just do all the stuff, if I just read the Bible every day, if I just attend all the stuff and check all the boxes, maybe just maybe God and I can like see each other like this because I am trying so hard to be perfect. Of course, you already know. I already know. I'm never going to get there. It's impossible. Perfection is something so beyond anything that I will ever be capable of, even for a single day. And I wonder, as I read through the scriptures, what God really wants from us is not perfect. He just wants us to own our chips, our cracks. He just wants us to be okay with who He created us to be, and He wants us to be open-handed towards Him. God, this is me. This is Jeremy. I'm not trying to be something that I am not. I'm just honestly, wholeheartedly, in a vulnerable way, trying to follow you. Uh, Paul to the church in Galatians. He, he writes this at the end. And this was in his own hand. He says in 6 verse 11, he says, See what large letters I use to write you with my own hand. Often Paul is a scribe that writes for him. This, he grabs the quill and the ink and he starts writing himself. To me, there is an utmost importance to these words if Paul himself is writing it in his own hand. He says, those who want to impress people by means of the flesh are trying to compel you to be circumcised. The only reason they do this is to avoid being persecuted for the cross of Christ. So people, we're trying to figure out how to reach the perfect God with their imperfect selves. And they're trying to do all the outward stuff to keep the law, to, to follow the flesh, to do all the stuff on the outward to match what the perfect God wanted from them. What Paul says is the reason they were doing that was to impress people and not to impress God. They were trying to put people in awe of them and how faithful and holy they were. But meanwhile, they were totally missing the point. And in the end, what they were actually doing was just trying to avoid facing the persecution of 
really adamantly proclaiming faith in Jesus. And this is what Paul says in response to that. May I never boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. Neither circumcision nor uncircumcision means anything. What counts is the new creation. Here's the reality is we can get so down and so discouraged when we look at our own lives and we see cracks and we see chips and we see sin and junk and we wonder how does Jeremy, an imperfect human being, approach the perfect God? God doesn't need us to be perfect. He sent his son to be perfect for us. And because Jesus was perfect, we can be made new. We can be a new creation. All of a sudden, our chips and our cracks and our junks can be made whole because we've been redeemed and forgiven and been, been given grace and mercy and compassion. We can be made whole and new because of Jesus and not because of me or what I can do. God loves me not because of anything that I could ever do. God loves me because he loves me, because he loves me. God loves me. God loves you. Let's go this week. Keep growing. Keep helping others to grow in their journey. Let's go make disciples.